Hello happy people and welcome back to Nail Therapy Thursday. Today I have a nail haul for you all and today I bought some nail supplies from a shop that I wasn't really planning on getting it from. Um, I'm sure you all have heard of Shein. Um, I've only ordered for them one other time and it was to order clothing and I recently discovered that they actually have nail supplies so and they were pretty affordable so I figured I'd hop on there and see if I can expand my nail art collection. So this is the bag that I have here. It is full of goodies. So I'm going to just go ahead and pour everything out and show you all that I got. Oh yeah, I have a big pile over here and I'm just going to just show you all everything that I purchased. I purchased a lot of stuff. So the first thing that I got here is this like nail polish holder. Um, and it's supposed to be to kind of hold your nail polishes at an angle uh, while you um, are polishing your nails. That way you don't have to kind of tilt the bottle every time. And I kind of want to see how this works here. So I do have a nail polish here. This is like my Beatles top coat that I use all the time. Oh, okay, that's nice. Yeah, so it'll tilt the bottle to the side for you. That way you don't always have to do that. Ah, okay, I like that a lot. Cool, so I actually purchased uh, two of these. So I'm normally using a base coat and a top coat whenever I do either my gel polish nails or when I do my dip powder using gel polish. So this is gonna be super helpful because I'm actually running pretty low on um, my base coat and top coat for my dip. And yeah, these are gonna be perfect to use. So I got these two items. The next thing I picked up here, this is a wax pencil. And I'm just really glad that it wasn't melted when it got to me. So that's what it looks like here. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just supposed to use like a pencil sharpener to sharpen it. And it'll help me pick up my rhinestones. Previously, I was using um, just a regular uh, wooden cuticle stick and some gel top coat and uh, picking up rhinestones that way. But I'm sure this will make my life a lot easier. The next item that I got is, uh, it looks like some pearls here. It looks like I got two different sets. I don't remember ordering two, but here they are. Um, these beautiful little pearls. So they're nice and tiny. I like that they come packaged inside of this and they have all different type of shape. I mean, all different sizes. So they got big ones, medium ones, small ones. Um, so these would be fun to play around with. These, I feel like would be cute for like wedding nails or um, bridal nails or um, maybe, what am I thinking, baby shower nails or something like that. These are really cute and dainty. And then I have another pair of pearls, but it looks like they have some gold beads or gold pearls in there as well. So yeah, those look pretty nice. I like that they come, like I said, these little containers. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what these look like here. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Um, the next thing I got, this was really the main thing that I wanted to get and I was super excited about. And so these are the um, nail foils from Shein. And I really want to open these up. I want to see the quality of the foils. I want to know if they are as good as my Beatles foil, where it just kind of like pulls apart. So. There's three different colors here. I have the gold color. I have silver. And then I have like a, I guess you can call it like a rose gold color. Or maybe like a bronzy color. So I really want to see if these flakes pull apart pretty easily. And if they do, I'm going to be so excited. Oh, yes they do. Oh my God. So excited. Okay, y'all, look how easy these pull apart. Oh, yes. Okay. These, this is what I was looking for. Like, I'm super excited about this. Okay. Yeah. So, this is where, moving forward, this is where I'm going to get my nail foils from. And I was actually, um, I was actually almost uh, ready to get some off of Amazon. And I think I was getting ready to pay like eight or nine dollars for like maybe just two colors and this one came with three colors and you get a ton of product and I only paid I think like 250 for this so I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna just get some more just to have it in my repertoire because I actually really enjoy using gold flakes a lot and these seem like they have really good quality they seem even lighter and flakier like these seem even lighter and flakier than the ones that I was previously using so that's a really good deal 
Um, let's see. The next item I got here is um, some marble foil paper. So let's see how this looks. So I like that it comes in this little container here. Take it out. Okay, this is pretty. Wow, it's really long. Okay, yeah, you get a, you get your money's worth for sure. And I think this was only a dollar. So I got just like some regular um, kind of brown goldish uh, marble. So this is gonna be cute to do my nails with. Yeah, a lot comes in here. <laughs> I feel like foil paper is already di always difficult to kind of get back folded. There we go. And then the next thing I got was, let's see, another type of foil, but um, I don't really know what this was, but it just looked kind of cool and I wanted to get it and see about trying to use it. So, yeah, this is interesting. So I'm, I'm not really sure what this is exactly, but it looks like it'd be cool to put on my nails. So I guess you just kind of cut a piece of this off and place it on the nail. It just looked kind of cool on the website, so I figured I'd purchase it and give it a try. So yeah, I got this gold kind of, I don't even know what this is, but it looks cool. So I'll use it at some point. And it's nice because I can use either the silver pink side or the pink and gold side. So yeah, that's a little bit different. Kind of sticking with the theme of foils, I did get some more uh, foils here. Um, I'm really into kind of marble print, so first I have to give a moment for this packaging. I feel like they packaged everything really well, but uh, this is just a few different marble designs. This is like a watercolor, kind of a dark color, um, like an ocean looking, standard gray marble. We got some pink. Purple, purple, teal, this really beautiful teal mix marble here. So yeah, I got a lot of different options here for foil. So I really want to play around with that. I actually um, got, I actually got um, the nail foil kit from Beatles, and um, yeah, I just want to play around more with foils to see, um, you know, how they work on my nails and when I'm doing nail art. Um, let's see. I think that's all the foils. Next I want to talk about stamping plates. So I actually um, have been wanting to kind of get into stamping plates a little bit, but I didn't really want to spend too much money on it, to be honest with you. So um, this stuff was really affordable. All of these plates were only $1. Um, and then I found one kit, this was $2, and it actually comes with a stamping plate, the stamper, and a scraper. So the only thing I don't have as far as stamping is concerned is the stamping ink, which I figured I could just use regular gel polish for. So here's the scraper here and the stamper that it comes with. So here's the scraper card here and the actual stamper. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's like a nice little jelly substance. And then I also seen too, you know, there's like this viral thing going around where you can use the jelly stamper to do a French tip. So I definitely want to kind of give that a try with this too, but I didn't realize how soft this was. Okay. Okay, so I can see how it could be easy for people to transfer the art from the um, from the plate onto um, the jelly stamper and then onto the nail. Okay, yeah, this is my first time, you know, messing with or touching any type of stamper, so that's pretty cool. So I have this little tiny kit, and again, it was only two bucks, so that's a really, really affordable price for a stamper. And this is the first set of designs I got here. I thought those were pretty cool. Here's the second set of designs I have. They're kind of like flowers and leaves and hearts. There's even like a cool little mustache on there. I also got this one here, which the sticker is covering up the design. Let me show you this here. So yeah, this has like just different type of designs on it, arrows and such. And then this one has, let's see here. Let 
No, oh, this one has like a couple of letters, tic-tac-toe, cheetah print, etc. So yeah, excited to give stamping a try. Like I said, I don't have any stamping materials, so this would be my first go at it. Um, next thing I picked up was a lot of different types of rhinestones. So let's get into those. So I have this little box of um, rhinestones here. They, oh, that's cool, they have them numbered. I like that they come in these little containers though. It just makes life so much easier, you know? I have the ones that come in like a little pinwheel and those are just like not easy to use, but these are like just the iridescent crystals. They come in different sizes and um, yeah, they look really pretty, especially the way the light's reflecting off of them. I also got another thing of rhinestones. They look pretty much the same as the other ones that I have. So yeah, I have plenty of rhinestones. I wanna try doing more. Uh, rhinestone nail art this one was really cool so these are like different types of like gold shapes and stones and things like that that you can put on your nails let me open this up and show you here so um, this right here is really cool so it has different things like triangles let's see here so yeah so it has like a cool little triangle um, those are straight. I think these are like kind of half. Let's see, here's some circles. Some diamonds. Yeah, so these are just some of the different little shapes that they have. I thought these were really, really cool. So I like to try to put those on my nails and like encapsulate them. too and then on the other side like these have just like different like types of stones and such I don't want to take them all out but you see it has a stone more diamonds like some white stones so yeah I just thought these are all really cool and really different so it'd be fun trying to play around with different nail art with these type of items um, I did get another foil. Um, these are some flames. I don't know why I didn't just get uh, a flame sticker, but <laughs> these are some flames that I have here. Yeah, these are really cool. Okay. And then the next thing I picked up here is some practice hands. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of practice. I figured I'd pick up some of these. I got one from my local beauty supply store for like $4. And this was $1.50 for five fingers. So this is definitely a good steal. I also got some stickers. So these are some stickers with like some cute little feathers on them. I thought those were really cute. I got some more stickers. These are some gold ones here. Let's see what we got. So I feel like this is kind of the sticker version of these little, the little gems I just showed you. So this is one of the sheets here. This is one of the sheets here. Here's an, ooh, there's four of them, okay. Here's another one here. There's another one. These would be really, really cute to put on as like a little accent on your nail, like something like this. I think that'd be really cute. And then some of the circles. So these are like the flat 3D sticker version of the stuff I just showed you previously. I also picked up these cute little bow ties, which I think are absolutely adorable. Um, I really wanted the gold ones, but by the time I went back to place my order, they were sold out. But look at these cute little bows. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I really, really like that. So this would be fun to just kind of like place on the nail and like, you know, to have like a cute little design. Let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Like, how cute is that? Oh, I love it. I love it. If I find the gold ones, I want to try to go back and get those too because I really want those. Okay, next I have some more gold, um, little accent thingies to put on nails. So this is the pinwheel thingy I was telling you about. I have a couple of diamond thingies that come 
I have a couple of rhinestones that have come in packages like this and they're just not really easy to use, but these are cute and they're so small. They got like different sheets, seashells and stars and things like that. The next thing I got here is just like these little chains. So these are something that you can adhere to the nails as well. And then I also got these, um, these kind of easy French tip thingies. So it's supposed to be where you put it on the nail and you can easily do like a, a French tip and such. So I got the one for longer nails and then I also got the one for shorter nails. So I thought that'd be fun to kind of play around with as well. And then the last thing I got here is just a couple more stickers. So these right here are just like some butterfly stickers. Those are super cute. And then I also got some like cheetah print stickers. I really like cheetah print nails. And then I got some of these little gold foil like little etching. So I feel like after you do marble nails, you can do like the little strip of gold. So I figured it'd be easy to just have some stickers to stick on my nails. And yeah, I think that's it you guys. So that's everything. Oh wait, hold on. And then I got another nail foil. So it actually looks pretty similar to this. So yeah, we'll see how these designs look. So yeah, I think that this was a really good deal for all of these items that I got you all. Like I'm talking, I got foils, I got, you know, different nail cutters, I got rhinestone pickers, practice hands. I mean, it's just so much stuff. And all of this stuff, I paid no more than like $3 for any one of these items. So yeah, it's something I would really highly recommend. Um, I really liked shopping on Shein, it was fun. I think my order only took like about a week to get here. And um, oh, I don't know if I showed these butterfly stickers, but these are really cute too. Um, yeah, you guys, I, I definitely would recommend you all sh go on Shein and see if they might have something that you might like. Um, I'm really excited about uh, trying out the, um, the nail stampers and then some of these marble foils and especially like these little gold pieces. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this haul. I would call it a mini haul, but it's not, it's like a huge haul. But yeah, it was just kind of cool to, you know, get a lot of different items from Shein and be able to try out, you know, some of the products that they offer. Um, these foils, I think, are really great quality for a buck. If 50, no, I'm sorry, I paid $2.50 for them. I think that's a really, really good steal. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know your thoughts below if you've shopped on Shein or what are some of your favorite items that you might have picked up from them. And, um, yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursdays. So, if you want to see more nail videos, definitely come back next week. And, um, as always, leave me some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Yes, you all read that right. I am hosting a giveaway on my channel. So be sure to check the description box for details on how to enter for your chance to win. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.